about to enter the workshop of the ceramicist Nino Parruca, extraordinary Sicilian Maiolica, double fired pottery. We're outside of the shop right now and on the wall, some of his creations, the lemon trees, certainly the feeling of Sicily in the lemon trees. We're going around and we're seeing that there's other panels done of religious edifices of Sicily. And here we are outside Palermo at the workshop of Nino Parucca. Let's go in as, as we go in the Carretto Siciliano, the Sicilian cart. Some more Nino Parucca work and let's wander a bit here in the workshop of Nino collection of the many motifs painted on the plates. We're in Sicily, so of course fish. And then we have the Fiki Dina, prickly pear. We see the seasons. Here's the signature of Nino Parrucca. Prickly pear. Prickly pear is a favorite motif, I can see. Uh, sunflower too, lovely. And seafood. Uh, sea scenes, fish and so forth. They'll often be used for the serving of seafood, actually. For salt, for sugar, for rosemary, salt for your onions, salt for your coffee. Sugar and coffee. Some magnificent plates up here as well. Now, time to make a decision. What to purchase as a gift? On this one, the sunflower plate. Perfect size for serving of antipasti. Not easy to make a decision. Here at Nino Barroca. I had debated on the lemon dish. With a lemon motif, but I wanted something a bit smaller. And not in the round, this is lovely though lemons and oranges. Very Sicily theme, isn't it? Oh, look at this for keeping your spaghetti. Here's some interesting modern design. Before we leave, we must uh, view the exquisite beauty of these figures called Teste di Moro. Absolutely splendid. Some of the Nino Paruca masterpieces worth a few hundred euro as you can imagine here's even a sicilian cart in the midst of the splendid teste di moro nino parruca age 78 today still designing his exquisite Maiolica. Thank you for your contribution to the extraordinary art of Sicily. In our many trips to Sicily over the years, since Pino is from Palermo, we've purchased Italian ceramics, including a pair of the ceramics led, linked to the legend Testa di Moro, the head of the Moor. And this is an 11th century legend. This is about the time that Sicily, the Palermo area, was occupied by the Moors. The legend says that a young Sicilian woman fell in love with a handsome, dark man, a Moor, and was disappointed to learn later that he was returning to the East to his wife and children. She cut off his head. She planted basil in his head, which also means a king. So hence, the Testa del Moro is usually crowned. 
we have a pair of ceramics related to the legend of Tessa di Moro. We also have other beautiful ceramics of Paruca, and of course, we have a small Sicilian cart. And Pino, for one photo, held up the whip, which is a whip used by someone who once drove a carro siciliano to entice his horses along. So what wonderful memories of Sicily fill our home.